Hey guys, today is a Sunday, May the 6th. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick. Um, guys, I had a dream this morning, and um, I, I believe it's from the Lord. I believe it's you know very significant, and um, and um, he could be very well be pointing to a time frame, basically the time frame we're in now. And um, I'd like to go over it now. So pretty much it started me and a family member. We entered a building and there were a large number of people inside. And essentially that this family member was going to sign me up. So I felt like maybe they were going to sign me up to be a member of a group of a something. And I think it may be, you know, there's something I'm already a member of a group. You know, I'm signed up to be a member of a group of something already. And so in the dream, it felt like maybe they were going to sign me up to be a member of of, of this group now the fact that I'm already in this group I know the Lord saying signing up to be a member is basically signing up to be a, a member of the world you know signing up to be a, a member of the world um that's what the signing up represents so they were going to sign me up so you know me and this family member we sat down and I was half, having trouble signing my name and writing so signing my name and then also writing like a short sentence I don't know if it was an O for something like I was having trouble. I just couldn't do it. And, um, an art and then following this, an argument started between me and this family member. So an argument and, um, and in real life, this specific flam family member, it's, it is difficult living under the same roof with them. They are, um, they are under heavy demonic influence. Um, they, um, are very controlling, um, a lot, lots of, you know, vulgar, it's just, it's not a good situation. Now, now the Lord did show me in a dream not too long ago that they will be delivered during the great, you know, during the tribulation, they will be saved, which is awesome. Um, but so an argument started between me and this family member and, um, our, our voices got louder and louder to the point of yelling. So at, at one point we're literally yelling at each other at the top of our voices, you know, and I was telling them like, you, you know, you want like, you know, or something like you want me to, you know, well, you know, you know, you want like perfection. You want me to be perfect. And, it, and the problem is, yeah, this person, this family member is too perfectionistic. Whereas, you know, deep down inside in my heart, I'm a very simple person, a, a simple, simple person. Um, I try to do things simply. Um, you know, at times I can be perfectionistic, but that's because I like to do the right thing. Like I like to do, you know, quality. I like quality. But at the same time, deep down inside, I'm, I'm actually a very simple person. But this, per, per, this family member is perfectionistic. And you could even say like OCD on a lot of things. And um, so we started yelling at each other. Um, this, the family mem this family member was being very mean. And then at a certain point, we both stood up and um, we kind of separated to where I started shifting my attention to the people in the room. There were a lot of people in this room. I shifted my attention to them. And I think I may have even been standing on top of the tables. And I started warning the people that they need to accept Jesus Christ. And this, while I was doing this, this family member continu continued yelling to, to try to distract the people. So if you see videos of street preachers and how these demonic possessed people come up and try to distract the audience from hearing the street preacher, that's what this family member was doing. They were essentially acting very demonic and trying to distract the uh, other people in the room. And um, mo most of the people in the room seemed interested in what I was saying. And at a certain point, I specifically, I told them that they have one to two weeks left. Y'all have one to two weeks left. Then after I said that, I started telling them that they have about one week left. I said this multiple times. Y'all, you know, y'all have about one week left. And, um, and then I noticed one person in the room, uh, in the building, the room seemed very interested in, or she maybe knew exactly what I was saying. It, it was a brunette, like white. She, she was, she seemed very interested. Like, I think we may have locked eyes and I, I think she may basically like we were on the same board, the same wavelength. Like she knew what was exactly getting ready to happen. That's what it felt like, or she was extremely interested. And, um, and, um, and the thing is, uh, and it's like weird when I woke up, I might like, I may have felt it may have been Christy Rivera. And, um, now the weird thing is I don't watch her channel. I don't watch her videos. Like her videos have popped up before, but it's like, I, I'm not subscribed to her. I don't watch her channel. Um, but I don't know why her name kind of was in my mind when I woke up. So I don't know for a hundred percent certainty if it was Christy Rivera, but sister, if you listen to this video, just let me know if anything sticks out to you or if you've having had any, you know, words, dreams, visions, and so forth from the Lord where he's, where he, if he's letting you know, we have like one to two weeks left or about one week left because I'm curious. I, I don't know if it was a hundred percent certain her, um, 
but it's like we were on the same wavelength. We were, we knew exactly like, like that's what I felt like. Like we were basically like she knew what was getting ready to happen or she was extremely interested in what I was saying. And then at a certain point, someone put their fingers in or hands over this family member's ears and they settled down. So, you know, like the, the maneuver, like when they, they, you see in the movies, they press the nerve in the neck and the person like collapses or falls. That's what it seemed like. Like someone literally put over my family members, the specific family member, they put their, like it was fingers in the ear or hands over the ears and the family member just settled down. I don't know. I can't remember if they collapsed or it's like they just got quiet. And that was all the dream. That's all I remember from the dream. So guys, I think the Lord very well could be pointing to now. Yesterday, I did have a couple of uh, uh, confirmations with regards to the San Antonio dream, um, specifically the Alamo, um, literally two separate ones where um, it was pretty crazy. Um, and even May 1st, I had a specific confirmation. So that fell in the May 1st to 5th time frame for my San Antonio dream. And um, so two, one Alamo confirmation May 1st, two Alamo confirmations yesterday for May 5th. I also had another um, confirmation, I believe, for something else yesterday. And then I even had, like when I was talking about the, the, the box truck with the crosses, it was weird. Th th three, three crosses, one on each side, the left, the right, the back, kind of small. The truck was like beat up and it didn't even, um, it was weird, no company name, just everything else was white, and then it's just small, like, almost crosses, and it didn't even look professionally done, it was really interesting, like, almost like it's time to move out, it's time to go home, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we're about to leave, the three crosses, and, um, so I take this dream as very serious, in the dream, I felt like the Holy Spirit on me, Yes, I was getting in an argument, but I shifted my focus to the people in the room to let them know about Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, and I was telling him, you know, we have, there's about one week left. There's about one week left. And um, I take it as, you know, very serious because I could feel, you know, in the dreams where you could feel the Holy Spirit on you and you're, you're preaching or it's very serious. Like, I mean, very, very serious. That's what this felt like. So I'm basically certain the dream is from the Lord. And, um, so just keep following Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes open. We're in a very critical time frame. We could see things go down at any moment. Like I'm having confirmation after confirmation and um, that we have arrived. Frankly, I believe we have arrived. And from, you know, everything I see, we have arrived. Um, so I, I believe our redemption draw off not. And so don't be surprised if we see some things happen very, very soon. I mean, very soon. Within on the order of days, I will not be surprised at all. So Israel's seven years on the Gentile calendar is May 14th. It's very significant. And um, the time is closing in. And so just keep your trust in the Lord. Keep walking the walk, the narrow path. And um, realize the time draws near. True, truly, you know, closer than we even know. And, um, you know, I hope to see y'all soon. You know, I, 